Finally, it is my stage debut. I've had to come all the way to Belfast to start my stand-up career. Just kidding. I thought I'd leave the jokes to impressionist and comedian Shane Todd. Me at 110% the man that at 110 on what? Oh. Hello and welcome along to Amateur League Latest with me, Keith Cruz, former player, now agent and sunbed. Well, right, no pocket money, both grounded, and I won't be taking this to see that Revengers film. Thank you very much, Shane, for having us here in not so sunny Belfast, but I'm sure the sun will come out soon. This is tropical <laughs> for us, it's nine and a half degrees. So. Well, no wonder I'm sweating a little yeah. bit, this is what's happening. So, with your comedy, you tend to have. Um, Different, different characters. Um, how do you get the inspiration for these characters? It's kind of just a mixture of characters, situations, things like that. So uh, the first character I did was a character called Mike McGoldrick, mm -hmm. like a rugby player type thing. Yeah. So I used to wash dishes in this really posh restaurant and it was just based on people that you would sort of meet. So some of your skits involve uh, members of the public. Has it ever gone completely wrong? I had a guy um, mm. who was like, really drunk in a bar in Belfast and he wanted me to get a photo with him. He, he was like, yeah, just jump on my, jump on my shoulders. <laughs> I was like, no, I probably won't do that. Um, <laughs> and he goes, well, just get, get on my back. Um, and I, I refused and uh, he tried to fight me. So that's kind oh. of the worst. <laughs> That's kind of That's the worst. That's the biggest turnaround ever, though. If he had to work for like Cirque du Soleil, I might have done it, but he didn't look <laughs> like he did. Why are you not talking to him? Because he won't give me an Irish language act. What? Why won't you give him an Irish language act? Stupid. Hey, mister, let's that cheek. He was being sly, giving his mates boilers now. I never. Well, right, no pocket money, both grounded, and I won't be taking this to see that Revengers film. So you've performed all over the world. Has there ever been a moment where you had a bit of an accent barrier going on? Has anyone ever gone, ah, uh, yeah? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Is what well, I would say if I didn't understand something. Do you understand my accent? Yeah, I do, That's yeah. That's okay. Um, <laughs> when I, whenever I was doing a gig in New York, a lady came up to me after and, and you know, she, I could tell she was going to give me a compliment. She'd been laughing throughout the show and she came up and said, um, she, I didn't understand any of the words you were saying, but I thought it was really funny. Oh. Um, which I don't think is a compliment to have just no. a, f a funny voice. But apparently you can do no wrong then if that woman was just like, I don't know what you said, but you're brilliant. <laughs> I think people, like the Southern Irish accent is lovely. Mm -hmm. The Northern Irish accent, very threatening. That's it. Well, very do threatening. So? I don't know, it always gets voted like sexiest accent in the UK and I don't know if people really have listened, but it, it isn't. I'll be the judge after this. It's nearly worse than like London. Whenever I go to London, people yeah. just don't have, a, don't have a clue. Oh, really? I, I genuinely walked into like a, a Pret-a-Manger yeah. and said, do you have any food for gluten-free people? And yeah. the guy started directing me somewhere. I was like, no, no, no. I, like, he was like, he thought I want directions. So, like, it's <laughs> gluten-free. Um, <laughs> talking of gluten-free, so you were diagnosed with Crohn's disease. And you, you kind of said that that was uh, a bit of a, a drive for you to, to succeed. Is that still something that you, you, know, you aspire to? Yeah, it just gave me sort of... Uh, a bit of a kick to, yeah. to be more motivated mm -hmm. and go out and do things. But it, it, I mean, being a stand-up, always wanting to sort of do new material. Anything that happens to me in my life, I just look at as material. Yeah, amazing. I, yeah, honestly, I think it's just you're on to bigger and better and wonderful things constantly. Thank you very much. And I would give the accent a seven out of ten. Okay. On the sexy front. Okay. Just saying. See you later, folks. Bonjour.